Hello. What I've been showing is the Siberian deadfall trap. This is the trigger system. It consists of three pieces of wood. And they're cut and grooved a certain way so the top log here will come down as a deadfall and pin your animal. Thus killing it. Quick kill as well. So this is a modified version. Usually they'll cut the top off a tree and put a and cut a wedge, take it right out of there, and then put their logs in and such. I wanted to show a modified version so you can see it can be done a different way. With my saw, it was hard to cut down the grain that way. It's a great cross-cut saw, but not when you're ripping. So I decided to go with this. It just gives another option. Usually, you'll have a, another two logs that go out this way and a little roof over top of your trigger. That way there, if it snows and such, it's protected. The way this works, this little stick right here is your trigger stick. And you put your bait, tie your bait to that. So, when a animal, they hunt sable and different animals with this but this is a trap that can be used and carved very easily all around you know the world in many applications i just did it this way because this is somewhat the way they do it
this is a proven trap that has been used in the taiga for a long time and still used today. So this isn't a primitive trap that they used many years ago. This has been used long ago and still used today by modern man, the trappers out there still. That has, you know, something to say about this trap. They use it for a living. I gotta say, that's uh, rather impressive. Now, this was featured in the Taiga Apocabox this month. And I thought this deserved a video in itself. It's rather ingenious. It's up this way here because of the heavy snowfall. Sometimes they'll put it, you know, it's according on the, how deep the snow is. They'll put it up in the air even further. It's all according on the snow. But it's rather ingenious and it still works today and they're still using it. Impressive. Thanks for watching.